Uh, this is your innovative coder and today we'll be learning the state of uh, and today we'll be learning the art of uh, googling so uh, this technique is very become is is very handy when we are uh, when we are stuck at a problem and this thing happens a lot while when you are programming so in previous video also i told you that you can install jupiter and you can google that stuff but how can you google that stuff that you will see in this video so uh, if you want to install jupiter so let, uh, first of all let's take this example only uh, in in this video we'll be discussing two things installing jupiter and creating a virtual environment this will tell you how you can solve further uh, further problems in the in this series uh, because you can't always comment below the video and expect an answer from me but uh, you can always uh, do this uh, do this thing googling and uh, get your answer from google only so there are some uh, basic sites uh, known as stack overflow which is always uh, very good uh, you can expect an answer uh, from all the developers all over the world um, this site you can always post your answer post your questions on this and also if you know any answer you can help resolving that issue so it has also it has a lot of stuff you can check it out here, over here but uh, for this video what we'll be doing is we'll be installing jupiter uh, we, uh, first of all we'll be installing anaconda so you just need to type install anaconda navigator um, so i am on mac i'll write mac if you're in window or any or linux you can use that stuff so i'll be doing this anaconda navigator anaconda cloud and then it will show me something so i can do anaconda install c this but i'll do download anaconda over here because i need to download the package right i don't need to download it from a command so here here is this thing python 3.6 version and i want this only we won't be working with python 2.7 it is a little bit old but if we are learning in, in, in like 2018 we'll be using python 3.6 only so you can download it from here it is for mac os you can choose your uh, uh, linux distro if you, if you are in linux you can choose your os from here on windows right so uh, you can do this stuff and after downloading anaconda you'll see something like this anaconda like here right and when you open it uh, it will show it will show something like it is taking a little bit time to open yep it is getting open yep so here it is it is it will say initializing and after a bit it will get loaded please wait for it yeah so it has all of these things in it notebook qt console spider gluers Jupyter Lab, Orange 3, R Studio. So R Studio is for R language. But we won't be using all of this stuff. We'll be using Jupyter Notebook. So you can launch it from here. But I don't prefer launching it from here. It's okay. But uh, you can also go to your terminal and launch it from there. Like I told you uh, earlier in the previous video. And another stuff. If uh, when you are using Conda, when you are using Anaconda Navigator, you you also need to make a virtual environment. So how can you make a virtual environment? You can just type it like uh, over here. Create, create a virtual environment. Uh, sorry, create a virtual environment in Anaconda, right? So these are the steps. You can follow them. These are very simple steps. Uh, you can go over on this link. You just need to follow some commands and that will be that will make your thing easier. You just need to do do the, these much things. So it, it also uh, tells you to delete the environment. You need not do that. So in like five easy steps, you will be uh, able to make a, a, a virtual environment. Uh, so that's all for this video. If you have any concern or queries, you can comment down below. Thank you and keep uh, and please follow and please subscribe this channel for more interesting video and stuff. Thank you.